That's good. Chaos uh, right down here in front of you. Congrats on the win. Uh, obviously, when a split decision gets read out, maybe always a little bit of nerves. Were you pretty confident they were going to say your name as the winner? I was pretty confident, man, but you just never know unless you get the job done, you know? You just never know. Yeah, uh, I guess just give us a breakdown of the fight. Where did you feel you had the best moments of success and maybe some stuff that surprised you that maybe didn't work as well? Um, I felt like in the first round, when I was catching him a little bit, uh, I had, that was pretty, that was pretty um, some of the highlights of, of the fight. Um, but then I felt like I, I don't know, it might have just been my nerves or it might have just been the fight. I felt like I caught a headbutt or something. You know, I felt like uh, maybe he might have hit me, but uh, who knows, man. But uh, at the end of the day, I felt like the first round, right, just setting the tone, it was pretty much uh, the start of the fight. Knew how it was going to go. Yeah, definitely. Is there anything that he did that surprised you at all? Obviously, a newcomer, you just kind of never know. There's so it's a mystery. Um, yeah, man, you know, it was a mystery, but it really wasn't no surprise, man. I never sleep on nobody when it comes to a fight. You know, everybody, it's a fight, man, and everybody got a puncher's chance. And, you know, him, I knew he was coming. He was uh, what, uh, on an 11-fight win streak. I never judge a book by his cover. And like I said, I never bring a pillow to the fight. I'm always ready for whoever. And, uh, you know, him, he was a little tougher than I thought it was going to be, though. Yeah, and there been some ups and downs in the UFC run so far. Do you feel like this could mark a, a bit of a positive turning point for you and you can kind of take off from here? I mean, any 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 victory is a pretty pretty much a positive point, you know, so I feel like definitely. But, you know, um, I just got to get back on that winning streak and just keep doing what I've been doing, do what I know I'm capable of doing. I believe in myself. I believe in my talent. And I just got to keep getting better, just keep evolving and just keep showing what I can do. Yeah, you'd be hard pressed to find any matchup in this division that you can't make fun. But is there any names out there that you're like, hey, that guy might be something extra special? Um, nah, not really. You know, uh, just whoever they throw in front of me, man, it's always gonna be a good fight, and I'm always gonna do what I do and put on for the fans, man. Like I said, man, it's must see TV, and I'm here to uh, just put on, man, be an entertainer, and just uh, continue to try to get the job done and get the job done. Timing wise, when would you like to fight again? Um, shoot, sure. as soon as possible, man. You know what I'm saying? As soon as possible. Maybe like a month or two. Awesome. Congrats, man. Thank you. JS yes, over here. Uh, congratulations on the win. Uh, you showcased so much heart, determination, and, and composure, especially because he was putting you in some uh, in very dangerous predicaments. How was it to keep your composure and keep your head still in the game, still fight him, still meet him tit for tat, uh, even though he was putting you on in, uh, he was meeting you halfway when it comes to uh, fighting you? I mean, it was everything, man. You know, life pretty much prepared me for this moment. Uh, even the losses in my career prepared me for this moment. But I don't just take them as losses, I take them as lessons. And it's just a part of the process, man. So everything I've been through in life, everything I've been through in the cage, it pretty much prepared me for certain situations, man. I've been against great grapplers. I've been against great strikers. I've been against people with uh, more experience than I have. So, you know, and I've been uh, in positions where the fight was pretty much close and I know you just got to dig deep in. That's just what it was, man. Just I just had to go in there and persevere and just get through it. You showcase so many weapons in this fight. Uh, when you go back to the gym, what do you want to work on? Or if you can assess yourself or critique yourself, what do you want to work on before your next fight? Um, just pretty much everything, man. You know, I'm on everything, man. You know, it's always room for improvement. Um, in the fight, I felt like it was certain spots where I was just this close to really touching them. So maybe just get back to working on my footwork a little bit. Um, and uh, I felt like my takedown defense was pretty good. But just continue working on everything and, and, and entirely. Also, my kicks as well. Just, just keep working and just keep evolving overall, man. You know, I just, I just never look at one thing and just, just focus on that, man. You know, I'm a mixed martial artist, and I strive to just be the best I can be and eventually keep climbing the rankings, man. So everything, for real. Awesome. Congratulations on the win. Thank you. Keep it over here, Chaos. Um, you just said it yourself. The first round, you were absolutely piecing him up. Big shots landing, crowd was going wild. Were you surprised he didn't go down or go out from any of those big punches? Um, I really much wasn't surprised. I was, I was more surprised that, you know, uh, his heart, that, you know, he was tough. He believed in himself, and that's one thing that you got to be. But, I mean, I wasn't surprised he was confident. Yesterday at the weigh-ins, he said that he respect me, but he's going he gonna to win. Like, I'm going to beat you. So, you know, uh, I've been there, man. You know, you coming off an 11-fight win streak, you ain't losing eight years, man. You're going to be confident, and, you know, in this game, uh, mentally, being mentally is there is just as, 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 as uh, better as being physically there. So, you know, I, I wasn't really much surprised by it that I didn't take him out because, like I said, man, it was just a few inches that I didn't get him caught with nothing super, super clean, but I did catch him. And I knew that if I would have been like maybe three more inches closer to lean, I mean, landing a clean punch, he probably would have been out. But, you know, uh, he was a great dude, great opponent, man, and I'm, I'm feeling good, man. 
did you punch yourself out at all after that first round? Did you uh, absolutely not, man. You know, I'm training to go, man. He, this, this is, uh, these ain't show muscles, man. These go muscles. And then last one for me. It's been a year in between this fight and your last one. Are you looking to pick up the pace, become a little more active? Absolutely, man. Absolutely, man. I took a year off, man, and now I'm on their ass now, man. I had to get some things in order, get some assets set up, and, uh, yeah, just continue to get better as an athlete and uh, as a mixed martial artist. Congrats. Thank you. All right, thank you.